Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm Ben. And we're both design engineers at Dyson. And this means that we work on the latest purifying technology. We're going to talk to you today about the Dyson PureCool purifying fan as an example of an engineering solution to air pollution. Now, when you think about air pollution, you're probably thinking about the outdoors because of things like cars and pollen and city pollutants. But the majority of the air we breathe is indoors, where we spend 90% of our lives. And indoor pollution is often worse than outdoor air pollution. This is because there are sources of pollution inside your homes, such as cleaning products, cooking fumes, building materials, scented candles, and even your pets. What's more, outdoor air pollution can become trapped inside of our homes because of sealed doors and windows. At Dyson, we set out to solve the problem of indoor air quality. And we did this with the Dyson PureCool purifying fan. Now, during the development of this purifier, we noticed that three things were really important. One, you need to be able to monitor the air quality. Two, capture pollutants and three, project that clean air to every corner of the room. The Dyson Pure Cool has onboard air quality monitors that sense the size and concentration of pollutants in the air. When the air passes through these two slots, it passes through two sensors. One of those sensors is a particulate sensor, which uses lasers to detect particles in the air. As the particle passes through the sensor, it intercepts the laser beam causing the light to scatter. Now this sensor can detect and measure that scattering and the frequency of it to tell you how big and how often particles are passing through. But gases can't be detected by a particulate sensor, so there's a second sensor on board that detects polluting gases and VOCs. A unique algorithm is then used by the Dyson Pure Cool to process the input from these sensors and tell the machine how to purify the room. The machine communicates these pollutants with the users through the onboard LCD display. So if I challenge this product with some particulates, you can see that the product has reacted to that pollutant. You can also see the different pollutants like the VOCs, the NO2 on the screen. And what's great is the app also shows you all of this information, allowing you to also control the product from anywhere. The Dyson Pure Cool purifying fan uses two filters to capture pollution from the air. The first is the HEPA filter and is made of glass microfibers which capture 99.95% of particles as small as 0.1 microns. The second filter sits inside the first and uses activated carbon which has a very large surface area and makes it highly porous. The gases and VOCs passing through are captured in the microscopic pores of the carbon. So prior to these products, Dyson had already solved the problem of distributing air around a room with the Dyson Air Multiplier technology. It allows you to project 370 litres of air per second around the room. That's equivalent to 1,121 cans of soda. So we were able to take that technology and combine it with air purification technology to make the Dyson Pure Cool purifying fan. These products are a great example of an iterative design. This cyclic process allows you to design, build and test to improve the design to meet the engineering brief. It took us 2,605 prototypes to get it right. We tried lots of things that did work and some things that failed. And that's fine because we didn't stop there. Using this purification technology, Dyson engineers continue to iterate the design of purifying fans to suit different environments. So we hope you've enjoyed finding out what we do as engineers, the technology we develop, and how engineering can help to solve real-world problems.